Five more space plane tips. Number one, aerodynamic display. When flying your aircraft, use the F12 key to display aerodynamics visually. Each color indicates a different aerodynamic forces. The longer the line, the more powerful the effect. Red lines indicate drag. Blue lines indicate lift from wings. Cyan lines indicate lift from non-wing parts and yellow lines indicate lift from control surfaces. Performing test flights with aerodynamic visuals can help you fine-tune your aircraft and understand odd behavior. Number two, engine power. Experiment with less engines. There is a fine line between having enough thrust and hauling too much engine and fuel weight. I recommend installing Kerbal Engineer so you can see your thrust to weight ratio. Or alternatively, you can just test fly your aircraft and check its ability to climb and gain speed. Number three, the oxidizer balance. Display your vehicle's resources in the upper right and keep an eye on your leftover oxidizer. Air breathing engines do not need oxidizer and this can often lead to hauling around an excess of oxidizer while you're in orbit. Right click on your fuel tanks and fine tune your oxidizer on your aircraft between your test flights and try to minimize this extra weight. Number four, avoid docking large planes. Large aircraft may be impossible or unpractical to rendezvous and dock. I recommend designing your heavy lift aircraft without docking capability. You can utilize a docking robot or space tug of some kind to gather payloads and move them around once they're in space. This cuts down on weight and maximizes the amount of fuel you have to return home. Number five, never surrender. Aircraft in KSP invite a greater number of variables and complications over designing rockets. When designing an SSTO, keep an open mind and don't be afraid to return to the drawing board. There will be lots of failure, so don't forget your parachutes. Thanks for watching. Join me next time for five tips with fairings.